readers! My name is Miss Flogstead and I am so glad that you are here with me today. I've been telling my friend Athena all about how much reading you have done and we are so proud of you! Hello everyone, Athena here. In this video, we will use the illustrations, or the pictures, to teach us more about the text. Let's get started! Whenever you read a nonfiction book, you find text features, such as illustrations or pictures, a table of contents, diagrams, bold words, captions that explain the picture, and so much more. All of these will help teach you more about the text. That's right, Athena. We're going to check out one of my favorite books called Bats, Fury Flyers of the Night by Mary Kay Carson. And we're going to look at all those text features, like the bold words and the text and the diagrams and the pictures, so that it can help us when we read. You know, sometimes when I'm reading, I get confused and I have to reread it again, and even after that, I can still get stuck. But that's okay, because we're going to use these tools to help us. Let's check it out. Page 1. It's nearly night. The sky is darkening. The bold words tell me that it's nighttime. I also see that there are so many tall trees and it is in the forest. I'm already learning about where you might find a bat, and we only are on the first page. Let's check out the next one. Oh my goodness, there are not even words on this page. Let's see what we can learn from just the picture. I noticed that the bat is hanging upside down in a tree. They must have strong claws. Their bodies are very unique. I see shiny skin that looks like leather, and their head and their tummy is made of fur. Hmm. I also notice that it is dark, but the bat can still see. Bats must be able to see in the dark. Animals like bats that sleep away the day and come out at night are nocturnal. Whoa, that's a new word for me. See how the word nocturnal looks different from the other words? It must be important. Let's look at the picture to help us. I see the dark sky with stars and I know I would be sleeping if it were me, and the bat is still wide awake. I wonder if the word nocturnal means that they stay awake at night while I'm sleeping. Let's read the text again. Animals like bats that sleep away the day and come out at night are nocturnal. We were right! Good thing we used the picture as a clue to help us with that tricky word. Oh cool, this next page has a diagram that tells us about different parts of a bat. Let's see what we can learn from this picture. I noticed that the bat has an arm, fingers, and a thumb. It even has a foot. Whoa! Hmm. But I have arms, and fingers, and thumbs, just like the picture of our bat did. Huh, I learned from this picture that bats have body parts like I do, and they have body parts like you do. Oh neat, a map of the world. I can learn a lot from this picture. Right away, I notice that the dots tell me where the bats live. But I notice there are dots all over the map. Bats must live all over the world. Hey Athena, do you think all these pictures and these text features can help us outside of the classroom too? It sure can, readers! You can use these text features when you are looking at a map or finding directions to a friend's house. You can even use these tools when you are reading the directions to build a new toy or following a recipe to bake a cake. You can use these tools anywhere. Just take a look around you! Wow! We learned so much today! We learned that you can use illustrations and details in a book to teach us more about the text. We also learned that we can use these strategies to help us outside the classroom too. Great job, readers! So next time you get stuck or want more information, just look at the illustration or other text features for help. Have fun reading!